What are the pros and cons of whole life insurance V's? Term life insurance. The best way to look at whole life insurance versus term life insurance is by comparing a cozy studio apartment you rent, that's the term life, with a sprawling estate you're buying, that's the whole life. Whole life insurance pros and cons. Pros 1. Lifelong coverage. Whole life insurance never expires. So long as you keep paying the premiums, you're covered. If you're looking to leave a guaranteed sum to your beneficiaries, this does the trick. 2. Forced savings. A whole life policy builds cash value over time, acting as a combination of insurance protection and a long-term savings account, which can be borrowed against if need be. 3. Stable premiums. The payments stay consistent throughout your life, making budgeting a breeze. Cons. 1. Cost. Whole life insurance is typically far more expensive than term life insurance. You're paying for the lifelong coverage and the savings investment rolled into one. 2. Complexity. Between dividends, cash value, surrender fees, and policy loans, it can feel like you need a finance degree to understand what you're buying. 3. Inflexibility. Life changes and sometimes so do your insurance needs. Whole life insurance doesn't offer much in the way of flexibility if you want to adjust your coverage. Term life insurance. Pros and cons. Pros. 1. Affordability. Term life insurance is often way cheaper than whole life insurance. If you're young and healthy, the rates can be incredibly low. 2. Simplicity. It's straightforward. You pay for insurance coverage that lasts for a set period, and that's it. No complex policy features. 3. Focus on protection. Term life is purely insurance, unlike whole life, which tries to be an investment and protection. Cons. 1. Temporary coverage. Once the term is up, unless there are renewal options, you're no longer insured. If your health has deteriorated, new insurance can get pricey. 2. No cash value. You're renting the insurance. There's no savings component. If you outlive the policy, there's no payout. 3. Potential for higher long-term cost. If you keep renewing term policies over your lifetime, you might end up paying more than you would have with a whole life policy. So how should you pick? It boils down to your financial goals, current health, and budget. Now as for me, Scott, living in Portland, Oregon, my choice would have to align with the evening mist rolling over the Douglas firs, the pragmatic thinking we have out here in the Pacific Northwest. It's about having the protection I need, blended with those responsible financial decisions that let me enjoy the micro-brews and food carts without fretting over my insurance bill. If you're the type to need something constant and long-term, and you have the coin for it, whole life insurance might be the way to go. If you're more about maximizing your current budget while still having protection in place, term life insurance could be a better fit. It's about balance, much like walking across Portland's Tillicum Crossing on a windy day. You have to know your current position, gauge the weather, and plan your route. A financial advisor like a trusty windbreaker wouldn't hurt either.